Hey, well, if you're looking to put a twist on your holiday meal this year, the Canby Asparagus Farms Casa de Tamales has the perfect thing. Cora Harlan, live in Milwaukee this morning, getting a taste of Casa de Tamales holiday menu. And Cora, they always do something special every year. Well, they got a, a new tamale just about every six months or so. Of course, we're here at uh, Canby Asparagus Farm Casa de Tamale to remind you of the fact that tamales are really good holiday food for a lot of people. They travel well. You can take these to go. This is Charles Mays, who's the spokesperson for the uh, Canby Asparagus Farm yes. Casa de Tamale. How yes. are you doing this morning? I'm good? doing good this morning. Right. I wanted to welcome people down here to downtown Milwaukee to our house serving this wonderful food for the holiday season. This year we're going to be open for Christmas Day and New Year's Day. So Christmas just, Day and New Year's Day you'll yes, be open. We'll be so open to the right, let's start with some of the base because I want to just show folks what we had. Yeah. This is a new plate from last hour because I devoured the last plate. That's yeah. huevos rancheros. Huevos that's, rancheros. That's a breakfast item. Right? The breakfast. potatoes, the great sauce, sunny side egg up yep. over a tortilla. It's just delicious. Just and delicious. That big omelet, Jay yeah. took yeah. that down. Just about all of that in there. So that's another breakfast item. So breakfast is on the menu here. Breakfast is on the menu. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. We got other tamales here around the corner that I want you to tell yeah. us about. Well, right over here, I got our traditional tamale. Over here, I have the shrimp tamale. And over here, I have our new Cuban tamale. They may look similar, but the ingredients are completely different. When I say it like that there, uh -huh. that includes the masa. All masas are different for each region of the world in Latino countries. A little different flavor in the different masa flavors and in different the masa, fillings. Yes. In the Cuban filling, do you want, what's in the Cuban filling? The Cuban filling is diced pork, uh -huh. and that is made with 100% corn. And when I say corn, it's just fresh corn that has been blended to be made into a masa. Uh -huh. And that is fresh corn. It's not powdered corn or uh -huh. corn uh -huh. flour. This, that's the and, shrimp again? This is the crab tamale. I'm sorry, crab tamale. Dungeness crab tamale. Oh, yes. And now, Dungeness the, crab are coming on, right? Now, the season has just started the out there. The season just started right? out there. That's exactly Dungeness right. Dungeness crab tamale. So, with, with what do you put in with that? Uh, this one, well, this with a blend of cheeses. Is blend what of cheeses. Is. Blend of cream cheese. Dungeness crab. Yes. Oh, yes. delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's the, the that's basic. Just, that's the basic traditional tamale there. And over one. here I have some deep fried asparagus. This right here, yes. that's worth the price of yeah. admission right there. There you go. And you know what? And my new appetizer is. Right next to it, yeah. This is also worth the price of admission. That's that, fried, fried that, avocado. That steam fried avocado, our new appetizer. That special sauce. And a it's, special sweet it's sauce. It's halfway full there for a reason, because we've been in there already. Last word about the, the new thing you're kind of kind of come out with, the yes. Delta. The uh, Delta. Delta Tamale. The, the Delta Tamale started in the 1800s in Mississippi, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Uh -huh. That, excuse me, I said 1800s. I meant to say 1900s. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My mistake. That's because uh, they had a big flow of migrant workers going to the south from Mexico, and with the two uh, ingredients from the Cajun and the Mexicans, they created what they call the Delta Tamale. That sounds delicious. Yes, that and it's good. absolutely wonderful. It's a lot of spices. And cooked in the pork, so I'll show you that in a little bit. I love that. I love that. Keep Casa de Tamales in mind here in downtown Milwaukee for the holidays. Again, Charles said they will be open on Christmas Day, be open on New Year's Day. So everybody who's been out New Year's yep. Eve can come in here and tie a little breakfast on and bring everything back into port a little bit on the uh, on and the New Year's. Don't forget, Day. I got a margarita here don't for you in downtown Milwaukee. <laughs> there you go, Emily and Ken. It's the time to be here for, uh, for margaritas, tamales, or whatever. Oh, this guy's yeah. on TV more than I am. You will recognize that. <laughs> really downtown is. Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love him when he wears his, uh, you know, tamale <laughs> uh, Santa Claus outfit. Right. Yeah, we that's should... probably in the back somewhere this yeah. morning. Yeah, that was last time. That was in the back, right? It, it was last time we were here. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, tamale, with the green, tamale the green uh, Nick, face with, paint and everything. The green face right? and everything. It's been busy. <laughs> that looks good. Now I'm now I'm craving tamales for breakfast. Thanks, Cor. Yeah.